think Londoners will see a difference. They certainly won't hear a difference because it's absolutely silent. But they'll, they'll certainly see a difference. Over time, there'll be a difference, of course, in London's air quality, which can be measured. Uh, and they will have this smooth, effortless journey. It'll be a, if you're old enough, it'll be like riding in a trolley bus in the 1950s. They'll be charged overnight in the garage. They leave with 100% charge. And we know that they'll run for about 180 miles on a full charge. And that's because the latest batteries are much more efficient than the batteries we might have in our cars or vans and so on. These are really very, very efficient. Uh, and this software makes sure that the battery power is used very efficiently. When the bus breaks, some of the power is put back into the batteries. So it'll be able to run all day. Passengers won't know the difference. So the route that we're going to put the new electric double-decker on is the 98. Runs from Wilsdon through along Oxford Street and out to Russell Square. We're running it on Route 98. One of the reasons is that's one of the air pollution hotspots in London. So we're running it on a route where it'll make a real difference to the air quality locally. BYD are the furthest ahead in the technology when it comes to having the electric drivetrain and the batteries which can fit into, into a double-deck bus while staying within the weight regulations. And they're hoping to partner with the UK manufacturer to make, I suppose, the chassis around it with them providing the drivetrain. And uh, it's a very exciting moment that this is happening here. And obviously we want to support London's bus industries but is mindful of who's actually ahead and who is um, ahead of the technology and we want to improve London's air pollution and that involves buying from China, well that's what's best for London. Well clearly five prototypes are going to be more expensive than your normal bus but it's worth noting of course that the running costs are much lower and some of the operation and maintenance costs are much lower but once you order these at some scale, their capital cost down, comes down a lot and it means their lifetime cost is probably going to be less than a traditional, or certainly a traditional diesel bus and hopefully a diesel electric hybrid as well. And that's not even considering remember, the environmental impact in that these are zero emissions, zero pollution at tailpipe and that is of huge benefit to Londoners.